What's up everybody? I am the thrift trader or Natalie, whatever you want to call me. I know I've been gone for a minute, um, like maybe a month or maybe more. Um, I've just been doing a lot of working, so um, sorry about that. But I'm back and will try to produce videos um, like I usually do. I usually get out, you know, three to four a month. So we'll see what happens during this holiday season. Anyway, um, if you're new to my channel, I am a reseller. What I do is basically go to garage sales, go to thrift stores, go to wherever. I find whatever will sell. Typically it's small items um, because I live in a small house. Um, and I pick up a lot of video games. Video games are one of the my favorite things to sell because they're so easy and they, they sell so fast and I get to test them out before they go. So, one day, uh, I have to tell a little backstory. One day, recently, um, it was in, I think it was like end of October or beginning of November, and uh, today is November 27th, I think. Happy Thanksgiving, by the way, that was yesterday. Um, yeah, so I went to this garage sale and I asked if they had any video games. And they said no, but then they came back and go, actually, we have an old Switch that we don't need anymore. The kids don't play with it or whatever they said. And I was like, oh, well, I would definitely be interested in looking at that. So they came out with the Switch, which was this. They came out with the screen, and then they went back and got me the dock and the HDMI cable, um, no power cable. Um, and they also went back and found me a Joy-Con, which is super janky. You can see the condition of that there. It looks like a dog chewed it up. Um, and when I tried it, the drift on this thing is so bad. Like, your character just goes in the complete opposite direction that you want him to go in. Going! I'm not even pushing anything! That will probably have to be sent into Nintendo for a fix, unless like I can configure it and it's fine, um, but it probably needs to be sent in to Nintendo. Anyway, what we are going to be learning today is how to get a parental lock off of a Switch. The problem I ran into, obviously, is when I got this, I brought it home, it worked fine, and then um, as soon as I turned it on, I noticed that there was a parental lock. The screen, let's see, the screen goes off really, really quickly. Okay, so if you see there, that top little button, if I press it, it goes to a parental lock. I know I got ring lights here. Yeah, so it goes to this parental lock and um, I thought I was slick. I went to like the top 100 four digit numbers that people usually choose for passwords um, just to see like maybe if it was one of those and I tried about 85 passwords before I gave up and the only reason I gave up is because um, after like I think you get five tries or something, um, it makes you do it all over again. So, or it temporarily disables. So I had to, I basically gave up doing that because obviously they have like a pretty, an actually pretty decent password. It's not like zero, 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 which I was hoping for. It's actually a lot easier to fix than I thought. And I had to do a little bit of research. I thought this would just come up on YouTube as how to do it. And it didn't. I actually had to like go on some, I had to go on like more than one site, okay? So, you know, maybe this will help like one person in the future. Okay, the first thing you'll want to do is go to the system settings from the, from the front screen, whatever you want to call it, the home screen. Um, and then you'll want to go down to, let's see, it says system and then it'll show you the system here and look at where it look at what version it has right here 
this is 9.2 and I mean just you know write it down or just remember it or whatever because that'll be critical for the next step okay our next step is to try and get a master key so you probably have no idea what I'm talking about but if you click on the parental controls on button I'm pressing it from the joy-con here you can also press it from the screen okay so you have this you know pin number that comes up and of course we don't know it so we're gonna press help down here like I said you can either touch screen or press the plus button and what it says here is you can it shows you how to temporarily dis disable it but you will need the pin so if you forgot pin it is possible to reset your pin by using the inquiry number below to obtain a master key please visit the Nintendo support website shown below for further assistance so that may be our secondary step if we can't get it through the first way keep it on this page because you will need the inquiry number and you're going to need the serial number of the device so yeah, just keep it there until you get that master key. So this website is something called a master key generator. And it is at mkey.salthacks.org. And of course, I will put this link in the description. But basically, if, you, if, you're, if your switch is under 8.0, you can put that number... Well, you don't need that number, I'm sorry. You can take the inquiry number and put it in the field, in this blank field. And then you would leave this blank, move this to switch, and you could get a master key. Then you'd be able to get into the switch without having a parental control. And problem solved. I do want to note here that if you can get the device ID by hacking the switch, which there are ways to do, um, then there you go. But they didn't look terribly easy to me, or I would have tried it. Um, I have never hacked a console, so I don't have any experience with that. So, yeah, unfortunately I can't show you that. Uh, maybe one day I will try it, but th today is not that day. So yeah, um, you can get the device ID for switch numbers 8.0 and up. It is possible, but you will have to put a program onto the console. So if the master key site generator didn't work for you, you're going to have to go through the Nintendo way, and it costs 50 cents. <laughs> so we're still on the, the help area. Um, I have not gone back or anything. So, we're going to have to go to this website here, um, support.nintendo.com slash switch, well, forward slash parent, and I will put that up on the description as well, and you're going to put in your inquiry number, so you don't want to go back or anything, you don't want to press back on the switch, you want to keep this page up, and it also shows you your console serial number, so very convenient. So we're on the website, and we're just going to scroll down, and it has these little, um, these trees that you can go, that you can look at, and first step is, is your system linked to Nintendo Switch parental controls application on a smart device? So that just means that um, sometimes you can connect your par parental controls to a, to a smartphone, and you can control it that way. Um, I th it should tell you on the um, on the device if it is. If it's not, uh, you can just press this, and uh, you can also press not sure. I think either way, uh, it, it's the same, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. Um, so it just tells you like basically what I showed you before. Press the orange parental controls. If you don't see the help button, you can press like the wrong pin number and it should come up. So once you get to here, it's not real big or anything, but this is actually a link. Reset your parental controls pin. Then it'll take you to this website and it's actually saying that a credit card is required to use this device and a 50 cent fee is used is to ensure it is used by an adult. 
So, we're going to go to USA English. I don't think I need to press that, press that actually. Uh, let's see. Maybe I do? No, okay. Um, yeah, and like I told you earlier, please do not exit the screen in your system where the inquiry number displays before submitting this form. If you do, the pin reset instructions will not work. So, like, you can't go back and use what I showed you on the screen. Um, it, it just won't work for for doing this. Um, all right, so we'll agree, and we will get our uh, console number out, which we know our our serial number from when it told us our inquiry number. So um, yeah, we'll just put that in. All right, well, you're going to get that master key immediately from Nintendo, so go ahead and get it, put it in, and it's going to give, it's going to let you pick a new PIN number. So you're going to pick a new PIN number, um, which I just did. Uh, I didn't mean to do it off camera, but, <laughs> um, and then you're going to go to all, uh, you're going to press, this would be orange, so you're going to go to this button here. And then, so it's re-enabled now. But I, I picked a new pin number, so this should go on and off, yeah. So now they can be temporarily disabled. Once we have our temporary password and we can turn this off and on, um, this is on right now, but if we put on the temporary password, it'll temporarily turn turn off but what we want to do is turn that that permanently off so you're gonna go to settings you're going to go to parental controls and then change settings and it's gonna ask for your temporary password again and then Although you're looking at these devices right, I mean these buttons right here, um, none of these are going to be the option you want. You're actually going to press X for delete settings. And that says it at the bottom, but I did miss that. So that's kind of why I'm making this video is because um, things aren't super obvious. So would you like to delete the parental control settings? Delete. So it's deleting now. Okay. All right. So when we go back, let's see. Yeah, and it's gone. So yay, awesome. So hopefully that will uh, explain anything that anyone wants to know about. Um, if you get one of these at a garage sale, that will help you out because I know this is going to happen to other people. It might happen to, to me again. I hope it doesn't. Um, too many times because I don't think Nintendo will just hand out master keys like they do, especially if they have your information. At that point, to resell this, you would need to initialize the console and then factory reset that way. So yeah, that's how you do it, and hopefully that helps somebody. Let me know what you think. Um, you know, you might want to bookmark this just in case for the future. <laughs> but um, yeah, leave me a comment. Let me know. Bye.